Today is November 3rd. They had a hair wash on Sunday. And basically, she just had a braid, this braid, and I just took it loose, rebraided it, and um, took out the four ponytails that she had. And this is what we are up to. You will see, I just created a braid, and what happened was I made a part that way. And then I split it in half. So I connected, I'm connecting the two diagonals. So you'll see a little pattern once I get this one braided. Yeah. It's kind of hard to show, <laughs> to do a braid tutorial, but yeah. Basically, I'm taking the right to the middle, and then the middle to the right, and then the left to the to the right or no I'm taking the the right to the left the left to the right and the middle to the left I know everybody braids different so it's really hard to kind of explain that here sit up for a second but that's it the left to the right the right to the left and the middle to the left. Let's see. I just want to do just a little basic braid up that will last for the month and I can Put it in a ponytail up here if I want, which is why I took this braid pattern. And it only takes me 30 minutes to do her her entire head. So that's pretty much anybody I sit up. Learn to braid rather quickly. And so after I washed it, all I did was put in a mix of something I mix. The base is yellow shea. And um, that's all I've done. And it's still moisturized. That's why you can see the, see the yellow there. And I waited to um, today to get it done because I wanted to make sure it was still evenly moisturized and not dry when I did braid it up. So that is it and I will be on to number two and the little one I don't know. I don't think she is ready we're getting there with her and her hair but because it's so thick I don't think she's ready for a full braid up yet I said by the time she's three she'll be three in about two weeks I am going to attempt I might do it today but um, I really didn't want to be braiding hair tomorrow I am going to attempt it might take me a two days to do it if I can get her to sit still it's a really simple braid up so we shall see if this will work and this will match what she's wearing tomorrow 
And let me show you what we got going on here. So just basic X. Like I said, that's how you do that. I think I shared this before. And sometimes I just do the whole head. But um, you just basically make one part and then you split it and section off the two diagonals and then braid one side and then braid the other. So, this is what we have going on. Let's see. Front. There we go. I'm take that off for a minute. What do you say? Thanks for watching. It looks so pretty. I have to take it to the mirror so you can see how it looks. And then this is how it would look in a ponytail. Of course, we can just change out her barrette as um. Stand, you can stand up as her wardrobe changes this is mainly why I do white if I'm doing um, barrettes or bees I do white at the bottom you know, that way it's easier for me to change out when the time comes Ooh, aren't you so happy I know I am alright guys I'll be back shortly alright so I'll just take down her ponytails and she still has the one braid in the front that I'm going to take a loose and redo. Basically I just braid it down a little bit and I only took this down to tighten up her part because it was not completely straight and I wanted a little more in the back. It wouldn't take me that long to get it done. But basically, I'm just going to braid the back down and let that be it. I'm trying to do kind of wide parts because her hair is really thin. If you can tell, her hair is really not, it's really straight. That's what I want to say. She has. my hair tight. Mine is a, a little bit a little bit straighter than this but it's basically straight. It only puffed up because I put that water in it. So that's all I really have to do to her is brush it out really well or a little bit and it just straightens up imagine if her hair was shorter it may give the appearance that it's curly like mine does otherwise is mine is bone straight here and it's funny to see the different hair types among the girls um, she has hair like my 19 year old and the little one has hair like my 16 year old and then the middle one you just saw has hair like my 18 year old very interesting to revisit these hair types again the only thing is you would think after all these years of doing hair their hair and other girls hair that I would um, know what I'm doing not that I don't know what I'm doing but everybody's hair is different it's always something different this time always something different just different products some things I still use of course but their hair 
makeup is completely different. So I am banding the ends. I'm doing barrettes this time. Maybe next time I may do beads, but you all know it's been a long time since I braided their hair. I think I did vlog it. I can't even remember if it was a whole braid up or partial or what, but we're going to be quite busy and this is a time of year when I can manage this. And hopefully it will stay for the month. Good deal. So it shouldn't take me no more than 30 minutes, 35 minutes to get our head done. And I will um, come back and show you all the results once I finish. I'm not sure until I finish the back which pattern I want. So, I don't know. Just depends. But she will definitely wear it well. Hmm. I'm trying to get you picture perfect. She'll be six on Tuesday. Hmm. Twins turn six. So. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think I braid up their hair once a year, whereas the other girls, I used to braid it a lot. Jordan calling, huh? Yeah, I used to braid their hair a lot. I would just keep it braided during certain periods. But, um, these girls, not so much. I think it's the takedown. But I guess if I didn't um, push to get it down in one day, then I would be okay. And I think that's what I'm moving towards. Since I had just been doing the big braids anyways, I think I will just take my time and even braiding it if it takes two days. Even though it shouldn't, but we have all sorts of things going on. So, 30 minutes could turn into an hour. <laughs> if that phone call had been important and I would have been interrupted and then it's almost dinner time and I haven't got it started yet. So, that's life. But, like I said, that is exactly why I'm braiding hair. We are going to be out for the weekend. And I do not want to braid hair tomorrow. Because. What's tomorrow? Hmm? What's tomorrow, Layla? Um, Whose day is it? No, her birthday passed already. Whose birthday is next? <laughs> is it mine? Yeah. Mm hmm So, yeah, I have other things I need to do. And um, I want to have them ready so we can get up and be out of the house with no problem. I said I'll bring you guys back shortly. All right, let's get this done. <clears throat> Should be all detangled. Looks like it's raining out there, or about to rain. Mm -hmm. The wind blowing. it up. Mm -hmm. 
almost finished. The thing about her hair is really thick and it's long and my fingers get even if I detangle it with one little braid they get caught up in there so that's another reason why I hesitate to braid huh. sometimes I just rather do without hold your head over that way a little bit try to pick a style that is quick and um, you know braids about this length that's why I didn't do the whole head like that because it's too um, mm -mm, too, too much hold your head that way because it takes me about 30 seconds to braid a braid this length like that but a complete one takes a little more manipulation and then the fingers get tangled a little more so yeah and being that her hair is almost completely straight there's really not much it it wouldn't be much difference even if I had flat ironed it or blow dried it first it wouldn't have been much difference it's just the nature of the hair so we work with what we got hmm be happy with what we have so like I said I have learned to stick with things change things tweak things to fit this time around this set of girls and some things they're not broken we don't fix them but here we go turn around so she has a double layer I think that's six back there and then I'll let you see in the front in a minute so and I did kind of wrap them around so it's actually a little bit longer but I did wrap them and they are banded just so the breasts will stay on because they have a tendency to pull them off so turn around so I can get a good look at it there we go and she likes to wear headbands so I thought I would leave this to where she could wear a headband if she wanted to and we can pull this up into the ponytail because it's long enough and over here and all I did was a basic diagonal part mm -hmm. alternate not exactly a zigzag yes later can you buy me a new headband okay but we have a million of them in the boxes right yeah okay we'll see uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, not a true zig, one of my true zigzag parts. And that's not what I was aiming for. As you can see, this one is not even, it's a little imperfect on purpose. So, here. And here we go. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit of brush right here. And it's already started down. I don't like to do too much to their edges because I want them to have edges so I try not to put too much tension even though they are braided now but um, we've never had a lack and I don't want them to have a lack of edges now so I hope this has been helpful if you have any questions any comments um, on anything else regarding their hair or um, products shoot me a message but like I said I just basically did this to 
last throughout the month and I chose a style that is very versatile she can go from one ponytail to two to three to you know whatever so that is that and of course if you have to stop braiding it's best to do the front the back I started the back then I did the front leave the middle and that way you can come back to that if you have to um, put it up so there we go turn around what do you say thank you see you next time bye all right I tried y'all this is about as close to braiding as I'm gonna get and yeah she may wake up and let out another little cry but she's really only been sitting here for five minutes but um maybe ten <laughs> the struggle is real I cannot she's not ready for her hair to be braided she would have to be completely sleep it would be a very rare thing I mean deep sleep for me to braid all of her hair and it's just it's so thick once I do braid it it's a very good she has a very pretty hair type to braid that's the thing I really want to braid it but because it is so thick I just want to see what it's going to look like it's just hard to get through it and I there is no I have no idea what I can do to get it um, to the point where I can actually braid it it's just too much there's not one product that I have found that'll just kind of thin it out and keep enough slip to run the comb right through it just I can't get the comb just straight through her hair I have to part her hair several times just to get it through one section and that's maybe it may end up straight so that's why when I have parts I tend to just leave her parts as they are and work from those parts I mainly repart her hair when I wash it that way I don't have to undo any parts but let me show you the back I did manage and these were off I don't know it's kind of dark she had two ponytails and it was a diagonal part but I just basically took them loose and managed to braid them and so I have to lighten that up it is getting dark but that is all I could muster mm -mm, sorry I do. so she'll get up in just a second as soon as she realizes I'm actually finished but you can see if you have been following her growth is um, she's pretty much it's on the back it's on the back right now so it's completely grown out it's just massively thick oh <sighs> yeah just getting it to be able to section it and make two ponytails out of this instead of four was major because it was so thick at one point that it would be lumpy if I did two but I'm able to stretch it a little more and that's my goal the more um, the older she gets it seems to be lengthening enough to where I can get it to stretch so I'm just I'm working with what I have I'm working hmm 
so this will be like this for a while but it's easy tape now so that's why I only did four normally I would do two and it wouldn't even be corn roll braids but this is the first time I was able to actually get this far so progress 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 the front is actually easier I could usually get a braid in the front or at least one on each side but um, yeah Anywho, I will see you all in the comments and see you in the next video bye